Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode on LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. The last episode we have done is we have uh, completed the second level of the Empire Strikes Back on free play. We have collected a lot of mini kits over there and have done a lot of that stuff. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to do the third level of the Empire Strikes Back on free play. We're going to collect some mini kits in there. I'll see you when we arrive at the cantina. And we have arrived. So, um, yeah, we are now on a whopping 55.1% for the game, meaning we are over halfway from there, which is quite good. We are making good progress. I do want 100% this game. It's going to be very hard, and we probably won't be able to do it, but I mean, hey, let's give it a shot. We already got 55%, so it's a good start. We're playing for 30 hours, coming up to our 31 hours mark. It's pretty good. We didn't unlock any new characters last time, because you can only you can only buy new characters when you play through um, free play. No, when you play, play free play. You only unlock new characters that you can buy, and you only, only unlock new playable characters from playing as them in story mode. You can't purchase... You won't be able to unlock any new characters through free play, unfortunately. But that's completely fine. Uh, so yeah, the Empire Strikes Back we're going to be heading back into today. But before we get in, there, I also want to show you a few things. Last episode we also did is we also purchased a few red bricks. After we finished off, one of the red bricks gave us the ability to, when we equip our lightsaber, to give us a super smash. So when we do our Jedi smash, we don't do a normal one, we do something like this. It's much more powerful, it travels much further, so you can see, you can see the radius. If I get a bit further away, you can see that, you can see the radius and it travels very far. It's much more powerful, it travels much further, it affects much more people, and also it one shots. Normally, the Jedi Smash would only deal one heart of damage. Which, I mean, it managed to affect multiple characters at once, but it did one heart of damage. But now, no matter how much health your enemy has, this will one-shot them. Meaning that the Jedi Smash is now completely OP. Yes, you can only use it in free play, can't use it in missions, but I mean, that's fine. Also, another thing we got was if we go to the extras menu. Um, look at qui -Gon Jin just flying around. We also managed to get, um... Yeah, hold on, there it is. Perfect Deflect. It's currently off for some reason, but you can turn it on. So we got Perfect Deflect, which is pretty epic. We... Oh, Jedi, Super Jedi Slam was turned off for some reason. I think Red Bricks turned themselves off. We got Super Jedi Slam. We also, de de we also purchased Deflect Bolts. I don't know what this does, but I know what it does now. Deflect Bolts, when this Red Brick is turned on, every single bullet that comes to me gets deflected off me. Even if I don't actually deflect myself, even if it hits me, it still gets deflected off me. Meaning, if you have this power brick turned on, the only thing that can damage you is falling over the map, explosives, or melee attacks. You're gonna get hurt by ranged blaster attacks because you will simply just deflect them. Normally, without even using your lightsaber, you will just not take damage from them at all. So this could be quite good to use because I'm be able to get hurt by um, I'm be able to get hurt by um blastables. Well, gonna be, I mean, I can equip it, but I don't think it's gonna help because we're gonna be doing a vehicle level today. Oh boy, that's pretty cool. We also got fast build, and that's about it. Anyway, now I'll show you the Super Jedi Slam, because it wasn't activated last time, but it's activated now. Well, I mean, it wasn't activated before. Now, this is the Jedi Slam. As you can see, it travels much further. Like, look how far it travels. Like, it travels very far. So, this new Jedi Slam travels much further, one-shots everyone, and it's just OP. So, this is the Super Jedi Slam. As you can see, it one-shots everyone, travels much further, and it's completely OP. Like, literally, everyone dies. Everyone. Everyone that's within the radius dies. The only person who doesn't get affected by this epic Jedi Slam is me and the other character. Everybody else just dies. Like one shot and they're dead. Literally, the Super Jedi Slam only doesn't affect like, you know, NPCs like the Gong Droid, which you cannot kill, yourself, and characters like, you know, that are on your team. So, the Super Jedi Slam is completely OP and I love it. Anyway, let's now go and, well, we won't be able to use it today because we're doing a vehicle level, but that's fine. We've collected 34 out of the 60 minigus, which is quite good, we are over halfway through our minigus. We have only, we are, um, we have collected 5 out of the 6 true Jedi. there's still one more level where we missed out on true Jedi. But we can hopefully get that later, I don't know what level it is, but whatever. We don't have that yet, but that's fine. So it might be the betrayal of our best pin level that we, didn't get, that we didn't get it, I think it is. Anyway, and also, we still need 4 more red bricks today, hope, today we can hopefully get 1 red brick, so we're only going to have 3 left. Basically, a new hope, as you can see, is pretty much done. Actually, no, a new hope is fully done. We have all the red bricks, challenges, true Jedi, and the mini. Because the only thing we missed out on is just the golden bricks, but that's fine. 
As you can see, Revenge of the Sith is also very close to being just as much done. The only thing that isn't done in Revenge of the Sith is just that we missed out on our one mini kit and we missed out on uh, um, a challenge mini kit. The reason we missed these out is because I need a Stormtrooper character, I didn't have those at that point, so yeah. Revenge of the Sith is very much close to being done and A New Hope pretty much is done. I want to get Empire Strikes Back to the same status that A New Hope is. Pretty much everything done apart from the Super Story because the Super Story gives you the last two golden bricks. I want everything to be done in the Empire Strikes Back like it is in A New Hope so everything but the Super Story. So we're gonna get to work basically because you still need one more true Jedi, many more mini kits, all six challenges and four more golden bricks. Oh, why did... Okay, I thought this guy was very big, but no, he was just simply on... He was just standing here jumping off. Anyway, yeah. Last time we have completed the level Escape from Echo Base here. As you can see, we have everything collected. But the challenge mini kit, as you know, we're going to come back and get the challenge mini kit some other time. For now, we can move on to the next level, which is Falcon Flight. Here, we got True Jedi, which is quite good, but we still need four more mini kits. And we also need a red brick, so that's all you're going to have to collect today. Four mini kits and the golden, not golden, and the red brick. So as you're gonna get, let's go get that. Also, which level's done that you didn't get um, True Jedi on? Is it? It is in fact, yeah, Betrayal of Bespin, the last level. This is the one where I did not get True Jedi on. So you're gonna go and get True Jedi on here when you come back here. But you're gonna come back there in, hold on, one, two, three, four episodes time. For now, we're gonna go with the chapter three Falcon Flight on free play, and we're gonna go and collect those four mini kits and the red brick. Let's go get them. So, we're gonna obviously going to go and play as... Obviously not the Millennium Falcon, because this level is called Falcon Fly, but we're going to be playing as that. We're going to be playing as Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, because, I mean, it's an epic ship. And yeah, we're going to be going with that. Actually, we're going to take every single vehicle of us anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, Chapter 3, Falcon Flight. Basically... This is the part where um, Han, Leia, Chewbacca, C-3PO, and R2-D2, well, without R2-D2, because R2 is with Luke, where everyone is escaping from Echo Base, and are escaping in the Falcon, the Millennium Falcon, and they're basically being chased by the Imperials. Anyway, first part of the level, we're gonna go and blow up these uh, 60 turrets, so we're gonna do that, just simply blow them up. As you can see, we already got true Jedi, so all you need are just the four mini kits, and the golden brick, so let's get to work. I said first part of the level we gotta do is what we gotta do is we gotta go and destroy this over here over here. Hold on though. These guys are actually damage me. They don't. I'm invincible. Okay, we are invincible. Because I have the um I have the deflect bolts power brick turned on. That makes it so every single bolt and that means blaster shot gets deflected off me. And the bullets from ships also count as blaster bolts, they count as bolts. Meaning that I am pretty much immune because you can only be hurt by ranged attacks in vehicle levels and there's only gonna be ranged attacks here and I'm immune to ranged attacks so we're literally invincible which is quite cool so anyway now that I'm invincible I feel much better about myself so that means collecting these last four mini kits in the golden brick no not gold brick because that means collecting the four mini kits in the red bricks are getting much easier I don't think there's any you know a mini kits or a red bricks in this area all we gotta do is in that case just get out of here then I'm pretty sure that's just a planet over there, actually, what is that planet over there? Is that? That might be Hoth, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I'm gonna go and blow all of you up, and then you can get out of here. Good. Time to die, dude. Die. Yes, I said, I don't think there are actually any, um... I don't think there are any... I don't think there's any mini kits or just simply anything over here. But yeah, that's Hoth behind us. I don't think there are any golden bricks, or not golden bricks, red bricks. I don't think there are any red bricks or mini kits here, meaning all you gotta do is just simply complete the thing and just get out of here. Because there's nothing. Actually, no, there's a mini kit over there. I don't know how, but I nearly missed that, but he got it. Boom. 7 out of 10, 3 more to go. Never mind. I'll take that back what I said. There are mini kits in this area. At least one. Alright, we got that, so we still gotta go and get another R stop. So we gotta go and get another, um, well, another free, and obviously the red brick. Okay. I've announced everything though, so you can now leave this area. I'm pretty sure. Destroy you, and out of here we go. Give me the money and let's just head out, shall we? As you can see, the rebel ships are now escaping. Flying off. We should be able to go and fly off ourselves in a minute as well, which should be quite good. Right. And now, after we wait for, you know, the game to un... well, do itself. Just simply keep on working. Here we are. Now we're over here. This area is again a bit annoying, but I mean, hey, it's quite... it's not that bad. Alright, now, all you gotta do is just not die over here, which is easier said than done, but I mean, hey. Go and get these weird um, torpedoes, because you need those. And now, um, where are the mini kits, huh? There's nothing over here. Nope, good start. I know there's quite a lot of TIE Fighter areas, so we gotta go and, you know, get into those. That's why I got the TIE Fighter, because you need those. Also, 
I can't get hurt by these explosives. When I'm immune to blaster bolts, I'm not actually immune to these explosives. They, these explosives can't kill me, so hopefully they don't. Anyway, over here, TIE Fighter area, we're going in. What's inside of here, huh? Just a single pull bomb. That's a bit strange, I gotta say. Throw those, become something that can hold these. Which is, as you know, a, um... Where is it? Probably gunship, become you. And let's tow these. I appreciate these bombs kind of fall in the holes, so you can make sure that they don't fall in the holes. And then you gotta go and deploy them over here. Oh, yeah, I'll let that go. Great. Come here, dude. Come here. Come here, good. I think our enemies won't come over here, so all you gotta do is just not die. Okay, yep, that did that. Other oh, reviews, a mini kit. Way. Alright, that's one, leaving us with still two more to collect. Well, not one, but that's eight, so two more mini kits, right? It's gonna be another mini kit over here as well, because that's two mini kits in one area. Oh, my god. The developers really got lazy, you know, putting these mini kits places, in places, they just put two in one area. Alright, can I, um, where's the bomb? Okay, now the bomb exploded, obviously, it took its time. Come here then, I need you. Now we can get you across here, good, good, good. This area is gonna be a bit harder, because there are more holes where the bomb can fall in, so we're gonna make sure it doesn't fall in those holes. Oh, for God's sake, come here, dude. Yeah, come on, flip around, and go, slowly, get it in. Hey, boom, and here it is, another mini kit. Boom, leaving us with just one more mini kit left. Well, let's go get that mini kit, shall we? Mini kit, red brick, I'm coming for you. Let's go, boys. You can become the Interceptor, because they look pretty simple. Pretty, the tie Interceptor, they look pretty cool. Keep it going, then. Avoid everybody and everyone, and let's just keep flying. Alright, now, there's another um, mini kit over there, we already collected that one, so all you gotta do is just, I mean, shoot it, because, you know, money. Yeah, so we already, we already got this one, basically. Cool, though. I'll take it. Let's try not to die, so in other words, you're gonna go and just... Oh well, yeah, not die, basically. Give me these um, things and Kobe them over here. Kobe. Kobe. Good. A bottle of you. And fire you over there as well. And, yeah, good way for you to actually hit. Good. Fire you as well. Collect the money. Perfect. Because, I mean, I don't really need the money, so especially since I got True Jedi, but I mean, I can take the money anyway, because I like money. Shoot you over here. You can give me some more bombs, hopefully. Or, well, torpedoes, not bombs. Good. You are still obviously invincible from the attacks of the TIE Fighters, because, you know, we have the flag balls turned on, which is quite good. So, I, I, the only thing that can hurt us are just those stupid, you know, weird uh, meteorite type things. So, we'll be fine for them. Asteroids and meteorites. Alright, I think a meteorite is what, what lands, and an asteroid is what crashes down into the... No. An asteroid is what's flying through space, aka these little rocks, and a meteorite is what crashes down. Yeah, so it's still the same thing, just gets renamed after it crashes. I believe, but I'm not sure. Anyway, not a mini kit over here, but we already collected this one, so it's just the empty mini kit holding thing. Which, I mean, yeah, they can still give us money and a money school. That's, I mean, pretty epic. By itself. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. Let's see where you can find more of these weird, um, torpedo things. Just kind of need those. Oh, yeah. One over here. We can clearly grab you before you despawn. You can keep it going, then. Keep it good. I don't think there are any other mini kit areas just yet. I know the level ends where we're, we're about to, you know, board that, um, well, not board, but simply hide behind, a, um, a Imperial Star Destroyer. So I know where the, when the level ends. I know when we need to go and, you know, have everything collected, because I know when the level will end, basically. Should you fire you over there, and we're gonna have to come back with one more, because we can only carry three, but we need four to play for this open, obviously. Alright, now, I just crashed into the side of the mountain twice, so we just took damage. We haven't died yet, though, thanks to our deflect bolt power-up. There is a power-up that just makes you fall on invincible. The only way you can die is by falling off the map, I believe. But uh, that costs like a million stars, I don't really want to spend that much, so yeah. We're not gonna buy that yet, anyway. Now, if you can just excuse me, I actually gotta grab you. Yeah, thank you. You're good. Go on, destroy the view. I'm gonna go fly through here, avoid their bullets. Actually, I don't have to avoid their bullets, but yeah, still. Kill you and let's keep it going. Boom, halfway's open. I believe this is the area of the huge weird monster thing, isn't it? Yeah, this is the area of the huge monster thing. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, this is definitely that area. Okay, now. I believe these two little prongs over here give you um, mini disrespectful. Anyway. You can fall down this hole to enter the monster, which I mean, it's pretty cool. I think we already collected everything here, but I mean, you can go down here anyway, just to, you know, double check that we got everything. Perfect. I shoot at a monster, and then fly off. No matter, but it doesn't go that far. Double score zone, yay. Do we already have everything over here? Yes, we do. Well, I mean, we can just collect the money, because, you know, money's cool. I like money. It's, I mean, I don't really spend the money, I just keep it, because, you know, money cool. That's really the only reason. Give me you, before you despawn. And just, yeah, let's get some money, because, as you know... Money very epic. It's nice and yeah. Well, it makes a nice sound effect when you pick it up. Now, I miss all the torpedoes that are over here, but that's fine. Let's go back, get some torpedoes. Blop, we got a blop, and let's keep it going. Hello, Monster Mash. Let's get out of here quickly. And here we are. So, yeah, I need a few torpedoes. 
I don't know where the next red brick or where the next mini cube will be, but it's putting me around somewhere over here. Oh, there's a TIE fighter area that I missed out. Okay. Didn't even notice that. But he found it. Let's keep it going. What's inside of here? Oh, there's just one of these things. Okay. I presume it's going to give us a mini kit so we can find the 10th and final mini kit in here. But what about the red brick? I don't know. We've still got to go and keep on looking for that. Anyway, let's not crash. Let's get us. Let's not a torpedo. Because I need a few more of those. I'm going to get free because I'm. I mean, I just want to get free. You'll see why in a minute. For now, I just need three torpedoes. Okay, what am I even shooting at? Right, three torpedoes coming right up. Well, I mean, I'm still ordering them, then. Yeah, you get the part. Give me the torpedoes, let's keep it going. That's one over there. Perfect. There's still now two that we gotta collect. Is that two? That's two. Okay, one more torpedo that I want to collect. And there it is. Perfect. Give me you, and let's keep it going. Because as you know, there's this little weird Figma Jiggers on the floor. I believe they give us mini kits. I already activated two of them, but the third one in the TIE Fighter area I haven't activated yet. So that's gonna give us the 10th um, and final mini kit. But you still need to go and find the red brick. But basically, I want to just fire those in there just to make sure I collected them. I did. But they do also give us money, and money is very cool. So I also collect you, because, you know, I like money, and money is cool. So, yeah. Fire you, get the money from you, then you can go and get the 10th uh, and final mini kit. And then you can go and worry about the red brick. I shoot everybody over here. Give me the money. And I'm also going to grab you too, and then you can get out of here. All right. We're going to be safe from the TIE Fighters when we reach this area, which is quite cool. So we can just fly into here. Pop you in the door. And if you actually hit it. Boom! 10 out of 10, we have now collected all 10 mini kits. Meaning, the only thing that we have left is the red brick. Okay. Can you just click collect this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, we got it. Good. So, yeah. As you can see, 10 out of 10, we have collected the four mini kits we had to collect today. Meaning that we now have 10. I can't speak. We have the 10 total mini kits we need because we have collected the four that we needed to collect right now. So, we've got the mini kits, but we still need the brick. Where the hell can you find the red brick? I don't know. Let's go find out. I hope you haven't missed it, because if, if we missed it, it'll be quite bad, so, yeah. Let's hope that we didn't miss it, and let's go and get ourselves some more torpedoes. Because I need, yeah, four torpedoes to break through that. Actually, is that where the tie, is that where the thing is? Hold on, can I just, we, really, no, I can't really see anything through there. But yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, I need some, I need some, um, more torpedoes. Let's get those torpedoes, and let's find that last break, shall we? Because, you know, I need one more. Um, red, I need one more item to complete this level. Not the last item is in fact the red brick, so let's go and get that. Firstly though, I had to go get some torpedoes, so let's, yeah. Get those, destroy you, and kill you, perfect. Good, give me you. I don't need the health, but I mean, I'll take it, because health's also pretty nice. Substance from dying, get you, good. Got the sound of all these rockets starting to get my nerves. I mean, these, not rockets, but these bullets. And you, you know, collect the torpedo. Ah, I got it, good. Just before these spawn as well. Destroy you as well. Yeah, okay, I, of course I still got hit, because logic now, but I didn't. I think I did, but I mean... Yeah, I did get hit, but maybe I healed it off right immediately afterwards. I need to give me the money, and perfect, and another torpedo over there. I still need one more that I can... I still want to collect one more anyway. Good. Okay, get you as well. Yeah, good. And... Got it? No, nope, not yet. I want to collect you as well. Collect the money, because money's cool. Now, where is the last torpedo that I need? I don't know why there are torpedoes in these weird, you know, asteroid things, but I mean, that's some question. Give me a torpedo. I need it. Give me. Now, are there seriously no torpedoes left? The generally, are there just no torpedoes? There, we got it. Let's go and put the torpedo into the slot, and we can keep it going. Can you not, like, seriously, Christ Almighty, dude? Have uh, things to be, things to be. Things to do and places to be, so if you could just stop shooting me, that'd be quite, you know, nice. Yeah, stop, die. Alright, you're dead, let's keep it going. Christ Almighty. Now, uh, yeah, let's go and put these torpedoes in, and let's keep it going. On our little not so merry adventure. Smack you under there. There, yeah, good. Hi, dudes, how are you? Smack you under there. Fire you. Oh, destroy you. Good. And also blast you. Leaving us still one more that you gotta go and get. Okay, perfect. One more then. Let's keep it going. Give me you. And let's, yeah, get one more. Alright, it's gonna take a bit of a while, but I mean, we'll get the. Okay, who else do we have? TIE Fighter, Y Wing, Anakin Speeder. Yeah. I, I love how slow the speeders are. <laughs> okay. I mean, you can play as an arc fighter, but I don't know if the arc fighters can actually pick up these and uh, torpedoes. I'm pretty sure they can't. Anyway, let's play as you for a little while, because why not? Also, shouldn't the clone arc fighters have... Oh, we can pick up torpedoes. Shouldn't the arc fighters actually have um, blue bullets? Because the Republic mostly used blue blaster bullets, whilst the Separatists are the ones that used the red ones. But this arc fighter has red bullets, so shouldn't that have blue? I'm pretty sure it should have blue. But I mean, hey, I don't really mind. Now, let's get over here, and let's, well, throw you into there. I mean, this arc fighter can shoot incredibly fast. My god. Like, man, look at the speed. Alright, keep it going. Now. 
Okay, there's this area. Now, where's the red brick? Huh? Well, tell me. There's a mini kit here, but we collected that mini kit, so. Red brick, where is it? Okay, we already collected three torpedoes right at the bat right there, which is quite fun. But where is the red brick? Actually, this is the end level right there. The level ends right here. So if the level ends here, then where is the red brick? Because yeah, the level ends here. So where is the red brick then, huh? Do I need to look up a tutorial? I don't want to look up a tutorial, but I might need to. I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah, if you could just die, I'll be that would appreciate it. Alright, stop. Let's try all of you. Let's keep it going. Yeah, we hit all the torpedoes, but now... It's tutorial time. I'll see you when I find out where the final... Well, not where the final, but I'll see you when we find out where the red brick is. Alright, I did a bit of research, and apparently we have missed it. The red brick is, in fact, at the beginning of the level. You know, when I said that there were probably, you know, that there was nothing else in those, you know, three huge Star Destroyers at the beginning of the level? Well, it turns out there's the mini coach you got, but it's also the red brick. The red brick is in that area, meaning we've got to come back to get it. The best way to come back and get it is to simply go, save and exit, head back to the cantina, and then, yeah, simply restart the level. Anyway, we've got 40,000 studs, which is quite cool. That's just more money for us, which is all nice and great. And going for a lot to be put away. Yep, great. We also managed to get the four last mini kits, so we have collected all ten mini kits, and now we have built ourselves a little TIE Fighter, which is great. So you got that, you can get all the money from that, which also that gave us a golden brick, which is quite cool, because I like golden bricks. Nice. And as you can see, we got, in fact, the mini kit golden brick, which is quite great. We have 75 out of the 116 golden bricks, which is great. And yeah, let's go back to the cantina, and let's simply get ourselves that last red brick. Yeah, I'll see you when we arrive. Alright, so, I mean, we're out, as you can see, everything's done apart from the challenge and the red brick. We do the challenge later, so let's get back in there, let's get that red brick. Free play, we can play as really just anyone. Let's go as the snow speeder, because, why not? And let's, yeah, get that red brick, shall we? So, yada, 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 yep, episode 5, Empire Strikes Back, yep, 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 we've already seen this 50,000 times, skip that. Get in, and it's Rakshi right here. Oh, we're a snow speeder, even though there's no snow. The red brick is right here. Behind this Star Destroyer, right here. I know, you wouldn't expect it to be here, but I mean, it is right here. And, it's quite hard to get, but we got it. Boom. The red brick. Well, that was a lot harder than it should have been. Anyway, we got the red brick, now it's time to sign our out of here. And, boom. Explosion time. Let's quickly just go back to the Mosasi Cantina, because nothing else you can... There's nothing else we've got to do, so just, yeah. Alright, we didn't collect any money. I mean, that's fine. <clears throat> Score times four is the power brick that we unlocked. It's pretty cool. Basically, we can make our money... Um, four times worth as four times as much. So when you collect a blue stud instead of collecting a thousand studs, you're gonna collect four thousand studs. That's gonna help us just collect more money in the long run. I could get it, but I don't think I am. Either way, cool. We got the red brick. Let's get back to the cantina again. Right, we're back again. And yeah, as you can see, we got the red brick. Now there's a nice little cross on there, which is quite cool. I Meaning the only thing that we don't have is just a challenge. We can go. And we can, oh god, it just dropped my phone. We can go and we can get the challenge, well, just some other time. Because for now, it's time to move on, it's time to go and deal with chapter 4, Dagoba. Well, here we gotta go and collect 8 minikits, because we only collected 2 last time, so we gotta get on our 8. We also gotta go and get the red brick. We already have True Jedi, because the only level that we get, didn't get True Jedi on is, as you can see over here, Betrayal of our best. And we can get that done later. For now, our next objective is to go into chapter 4, Dagoba, Dagoba, what the hell are you? pronounce it and we gotta simply collect eight mini kits and then the red brick you can get the red brick and the eight mini kits some other time for now ladies and gentlemen are gonna go and finish episode off right here but not before i completely slaughter everyone with the amazingly op jedi slam that we just unlocked like this is just powerful like everybody's dead generally everybody's just dead i've slaughtered the entire cantina that's how powerful this jedi slam is oh hell though dexter you gotta kill dexter dexter's one of the people that you simply cannot kill for some reason so yeah now for this Jedi Slam, completely OP. You're like, oh my god, it's just great. Like, I'll show you how great it is. This guy, dead. And these guys over here, dead. <laughs> like, it's just completely overpowered. Like, I don't know why it's so powerful. God, it just destroys people. Like, god. This is complete power. Like, these three people, hold on. These three people, dead. Dexter's still obviously vibing, but yeah. I completely love it. It's all my TV. It's just great. It's just great. Anyway, um, yeah, I actually want to get out myself um, over here. Good. Actually, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Actually, what is this? It's just bonus. What do you mean bonus? Oh, this is where you build things out of the golden bricks, don't you? Yeah, there's these six bonus levels. Yeah. So we can actually unlock the first bonus. We'll need 10 golden bricks for that. We can unlock the second bonus because we need 30. 
We can unlock the third bonus, because you need 10 as well, so we got that. Fourth bonus, we can afford that. Fifth, we can afford that. And sixth, we can probably also afford, right? Yeah. Can we? Yes, we can. We can unlock all of them, but I think... Do you spend your golden bricks on that? Or do you just use them? I'm pretty sure you just use them. Ah, but what is this? What is this? The order just gets us out, of course. I don't want to leave just yet. Alright, cool, cool. That's a very strange place. I don't know what these bonuses are. Whatever they are, we're going to do these, but I'm going to do them later. I want to co firstly complete... I want to firstly 100% complete on all the missions. Well, all the movies, basically. I want to get everything done in them. All the super story, all that stuff. After we get that done, then we can worry about this entire room and just figure out where this place is. But basically, I think we're going to spend them. So let's calculate how many we need in total. That's 10. This is... 30, so that's 40. This is another 10, so that's 50. That's 50. The final one is also another 50, right? Yep, so it's gonna be 100. We have 75, so we don't have enough for them. 100, that's gonna be 10, so it's gonna be 110. 130. We need 130 golden bricks to unlock everything here. We only have 75, so you wouldn't have enough for all them. So that's pretty cool, but this, you can collect 160 golden bricks in total. So, what about the other 30? Because you can spend 130 here, but there's still 30 golden bricks that you keep, I guess. And this area is, I guess, where you can just simply watch the trailers, yeah. Indiana Jones. What? Why is... What do you mean, intro? It's the game intro, I believe, isn't it? It's the game intro, but... But what, what, what do you... Wait, 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 wait. Why is my screen black now? Oh, I forgot. It's gonna reload the cantina. Great. Why was Indiana Jones an option? I don't know. I'll see you when we load in. Again. Alright, so I have no idea what the hell in- I don't know what the Indiana Jones thing is. Maybe we could find out right now, I have no better to do. Let's go, Indiana Jones. Select. What the hell is this? This is literally just a trailer for Indiana Jones. Why are you- This is a Star Wars game. It's not that LucasArts is like, responsible for like, you know, Indiana Jones and that, but... Come on. This is- This isn't Indiana Jones, this is goddamn... Great, now we're watching the trailer for Indiana Jones, even though we're playing goddamn Lego Star Wars. That makes sense. Right. There's actually some voice acting. Yeah. <laughs> I remember this is actually a few cutscenes from the game itself. <laughs> it, it's just Indiana Jones. Why are they advertising Indiana Jones? <laughs> I think I actually have this game for... Um... Yeah, uh, that's why. So yeah, that's why they're advertising Indiana Jones here, because um, the people that made LEGO Stars also made Indiana Jones. Well, obviously, you know that. LEGO and um, Telltale, whatever the hell they're called. So yeah, that makes sense that they're advertising it, because it's the same developers, which is pretty cool. And yeah, um, so basically, yeah, I think I actually have Indiana Jones for the... Yeah, Summer 2008, that's when it released. I made it's 2021 now, it's been a whopping, and I mean a whopping... 13 years since the game released. Christ almighty. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I already have Indiana Jones um, purchase for the Xbox 360 on like a disc. I think I got that. Yeah, because I'm playing this on uh, on PC as you know. I actually have the disc for this because you know, it's a pretty old game. So I got the disc for it. I don't know when I got it, but it's pretty long time ago. So I got the disc for this game. I'm holding the box right now. But I also got Indiana Jones also for the Xbox 360. Anyway. Let's load in, let's finish off for the day, because we made some pretty good progress today. We have completed, um, we have completed, basically, the, um, the Falcon Flight level, that was pretty cool. That's done, which means that now, the next thing to do is, in fact, Chapter 4, Dagoba. And yeah, Indiana Jones is not available to buy in the shop. Oh! So you unlock Indiana Jones, you can purchase Indiana Jones as a playable character, when you watch that cutscene. That's quite cool. Let's go and, I guess, buy him then, shall we? So if you watch the trailer, you unlock Indiana Jones as a playable character. That actually makes sense. Alright, cool, cool. Alright, let's go and check it out, I guess. I'm pretty sure it's like right over here. And yeah, there it is. As you can see, Indiana Jones, 50k. I mean, I have nothing better to spend on, so yeah. Boom! Indiana Jones inside of goddamn Lego Star Wars. Alright, cool. He won't spawn here in the cantina until we reload the game, but I mean, yeah. We now have purchased Indiana Jones. Pretty cool. Well, that's one more person in the character list. Actually, I think we can probably see him in the character roster, can't we? Uh, yeah, if you check that out. Generally, anyway, yeah, we're gonna finish, up, finish this episode off right here, because now it's time to go and deal with, I guess, the next level, which is chapter 4, the go, but we're gonna go and collect the 8 mini kits, and the red brick we can get that next episode. For now, though, we wanna go and see Indiana Jones. 
he is going to be where is he? Oh, he's right here. Right at the very end. It makes sense. He's a special character. There he is. Indiana Jones in goddamn Lego Star Wars. I still find that very hilarious. But yeah, so he's right there. That's another slot filled up by another character. So we only have, you know, a few characters left. These cards appear that we can unlock from levels. These cards are the that we can purchase from the store. It's pretty cool. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, finish up. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna finish this episode off right here. Next episode, as you already know, we're gonna go and we're gonna deal with chapter four to go by. We're gonna go collect the eight mini kits and we're gonna collect the red brick. That'll be next episode. For now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Oh God, is the long neck camera on, lady?